heard a few things about Mesa. Good, bad, ugly, maybe. I don't know. But in this video, we're going to do a complete tour of the city of Mesa. We're going to check out some of the older parts that you could say are stuck in the 80s. And of course, we're going to check out the absolutely new, beautiful tech corridor and some of those neighborhoods towards the end of the video as well. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, this is David Van Ashey with the Living in the Phoenix East Valley team. And if this is your first time to this channel and you wanna learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live and play here in the Mesa and greater Phoenix area, make sure you click that subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified every time we put out a new video. And honestly, we get so many phone calls, text messages, emails every single day from people looking to move and relocate here. We absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving or relocating here to Mesa or the greater Phoenix area, make sure you pick up the phone, Give us a call, shoot us that email, send a text message, days, nights, weekends. We've got your back when moving here to Mesa, Arizona. All right, so I'm here in downtown Mesa right now, and this is an area that's been known in the past to be a little bit stuck in the 80s. Definitely there's some huge areas in West and Central Mesa that are under close scrutiny, you could say, by the Economic Development Department of the city or, you know, redevelopment, definitely. So what you see behind me here is a new stretch of the light rail, which goes right through downtown. This rail connects you directly into Tempe, the Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport, and of course, downtown Phoenix. You could have it there for an NFL game or to, to access downtown that way. So this is a part or a big step towards the redevelopment of Western and Central Mesa. Next up in this video, we're going to head out to East Mesa where you have a ton of new construction, new development, a tech corridor with huge data centers and a lot of stuff going on. Let's head out there right now. All right, so we're here right now at the Elliott Road Tech Corridor. This is in East Mesa. And as you can see, this place is absolutely booming. Back here, you can see this major facility is all of Facebook or Meta giant. It's their new huge giant data center. So we're here at the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. Today, this is actually a World War II military airfield. Later on, I think back in the 90s, they turned it into a commercial airport. And then today, in 2023 in Ford, this place is turning into an extremely busy commercial airport. The major airline that flies in here is Allegiant Air, but you got a handful of other airlines, mostly from Canada, that bring a lot of snowbirds in, you know, every so often to uh, to enjoy being down here in the winter time and weather. Long story short though, this airport is growing rapidly. I actually just checked out the uh, 5, 10, 15, and 20 year plan by the city of Mesa and what they've got in store for this airport is absolutely stunning as far as new terminals, runway extensions, all kinds of new stuff happening. So this airport is definitely a huge part of the economic equation and the massive amounts of growth in the high-tech sector that's going on here in East Mesa, Arizona. So in addition to being a really great airport for just your normal commercial traffic, there's a ton of new stuff going on as far as for private air travel. I know Gulfstream and Cessna Citation, they both have facilities here for jet maintenance. So, you know, a lot of people, your, your millionaire billionaires that have these planes, bring them in here to get serviced and maintenance. It's a huge add-on for the economy out here and it kind of fits in really well with the overall overall high-tech corridor that we have here in East Mesa and generally speaking the East Valley in general. If you check out our video on Gilbert and on Chandler you'll definitely see what a high-tech industry does for a local economy. This place is just growing beautifully. One of my favorite things about this airport in particular over Sky Harbor is that it is a smaller airport so the major airline that does fly in here is Allegiant Air. I would recommend checking out their website. Every year with the exception of COVID this airport it just keeps hitting higher and higher passenger count records. It's definitely growing and it's really, really helpful to have such an excellent airport out here in the East Valley. So you have an option that doesn't force you to have just the one option, which is Sky Harbor Airport. One of my favorite parts about the spring training games, whether it's here at the Oakland A Stadium or the Cubs or one of the many other Major League Baseball spring training stadiums throughout the Phoenix Valley is the lawn seats. So out at the uh, outfield, you can usually get these tickets that are really cheap. You can spread out blankets. It's got a really good picnic feel to it. A lot of times you can have like, it looks like a soap dispenser, but it's actually sunscreen. Honestly, in March when that's all going on, there's not a better feeling than, you know, soaking up that sun and trying to avoid a sunburn. Me personally, I kind of like getting a sunburn every 
once in a while, it definitely makes you feel like it's summer's coming and getting that tan going. But baseball is a huge thing in Mesa, baseball and golf. We'll check out some of the golf courses next. All right, of course, the second stadium, the Oakland Athletics, the Oakland A's, here we are. And let's go up in the air and take a look around. So here in the greater Phoenix area, spring training, which is basically the month of March every year, is one of the busiest times of year. Major League Baseball is in Arizona for the most part. Almost every team's got a miniature stadium in the area. Now here in Mesa, there's actually two different stadiums. This is Sloan Park, and this is the home of the Chicago Cubs during the uh, spring training period. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, so I am so excited right now to take you over to the Legacy Sports Complex right here in Mesa. Let's head on over there right now. All right, guys, so here it is, the Legacy Sports Complex. This place is just incredibly large. You have to count, I can't even see how many soccer fields, how big the field houses are, all the volleyball courts. We're gonna head over and check out the place for grown-ups, the GOAT. We got a bar over here so that when you're having these all day long tournaments for the kids, and these are nationwide or even international sized tournaments that can be hosted here. Go we'll check it out right now. So one of the coolest things about this place is the fact that obviously it's built bigger than anything else like it anywhere in North America, but it's actually built so that when you're hosting these kinds of tournaments and the kids are here and we got playground, we got places for them all to hang out, they got food venues, they have beer for the adults. So one of the cool things, you know, with perpetual beautiful weather, you've got the sand volleyball courts. All right, so we have a total of 12 sand volleyball courts for tournaments, for hanging out, for practice. This is open to the public. Awesome, awesome setup. Right next to the 12 beach volleyball courts, we've got a huge lawn out here, which could be used for events. Basically, we've got an event tent right here, perfect for whatever you got going on. I love the fact that it's real turf because when it starts to get warm like this, again, it absorbs that heat. And you walk out here, it's comfortable. You really can't beat it. 24 full-size soccer fields. Unbelievable. So when you're looking at a place like this on Google Maps and you pinch and you zoom in or if you're on your computer, it doesn't really seem like it's that big, but I'm telling you, you could get lost out here. We haven't even gone inside the field houses. I don't even know how big this building is. It's just massive. So here we are in the first field house. It looks like we've got 16 full-size basketball courts. And on this side, it could be basketball or, of course, we're set up for, it looks like 24 different indoor volleyball courts. Of course, you got the sand volleyball, or beach volleyball outside. Nice and air-conditioned in here. So you got just massive, massive field house. This place just keeps going and going. Unbelievable. We're in our next field house and we got indoor hockey, more volleyball. Just the sheer size and scale of this place is, it's kind of overwhelming, especially if you were here for more than one event. There's a reason why those parking lots outside are so big. They fill them up. Being a brand new facility like this, you know, I can only see how much busier this is gonna get moving forward. There aren't a lot of places in the world that can post an event of this size or these kinds of, you know, of this scale. Mesa and Legacy Sports Complex has definitely got it going on. Pickleball has become such a big thing nationwide, but even here in Arizona for people of all ages. And so here at the Legacy Sports Complex, they definitely went all out when putting together the pickleball courts and even having a championship stadium right here. Hey, if you're watching this video and you're enjoying it, make sure that if you're one of the 90% of people who haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get after it. So here in Mesa, there's a population of just over 500,000 people. And it's actually the largest suburb, I think in the US really. It's a massive landmass, massive area. But when it comes to hospitals, there's definitely a lot of options to choose from. So just in the city of Mesa alone, there are 10 hospitals in total. This hospital I'm at right now, this is Banner Desert. 
Desert, which is in the western part of Mesa. It's actually where my daughter was born. The staff here was amazing, great experience and all that. They do have a children's hospital at this particular hospital that, you know, of course they have the helicopter pads when they have really bad situations coming through. A long story short though, healthcare, lots of options. And of course you have dozens and dozens and dozens of outpatient clinics and other types of facilities that you're looking for. Depending on what your particular situation is and what kinds of services you need on a regular basis, we can definitely help find a neighborhood that's close to or within a respectable driving distance of whatever type of service that you're looking for. Hey guys, I'm here at the Superstition Spring Center, which is more towards East Mesa, kind of the beginning of like, the Eastern side. And at this shopping mall, you have three major tenants, which is JC Penney, Macy's and Dillard. Let's go inside and check out some of the smaller companies inside. All right, so I'm here at Eastmark. Eastmark has been ranked the number one master plan community in the United States for multiple years in a row now. This place is just incredible and it's still under construction. There are still areas where you can get a brand new house, uh, either a spec house or you can design it and have it built and delivered later. Now, a few things that are really cool, you've got obviously the community center, you've got a splash pad, you've got a diner over here, you've got community event space. So the biggest one here, this is all part of the Great Park. Now the Great Park has an event lawn, amphitheater, Theater. We've got the Orange Monster, which is this giant playground way back here. We've got the uh, farm. This is an urban farm where you can order a lot of stuff. You can have your food grown. This is the Handlebar Diner. Steadfast Farm, where they grow all of this. You can actually find these guys at the farmer's markets on Saturdays. So this is actually a certified organic farm right here in the heart of Eastmark. There's a farm store. It's self-service. You actually just grab whatever you want. Honor system, you check it out, swipe your credit card and move on. So one thing about Eastmark is it just keeps going and going and going. When you look at it on a map, it seems like it's small, but I'm telling you, this neighborhood is enormous. These trees, you know, it's a new neighborhood, but one day these trees are gonna get big and we're talking about lots of shade. It's gonna be so great to be out here all summer. I mean, it already is super great, but I can just see the potential of what it's gonna look like another eight, nine, 10 years from now once this is all completely grown out and the landscaping becomes more mature. Let's go check out the next spot. But seriously, when I say master plan community, I really mean it. This place has everything thought through that you can imagine. We've got homes in just about every price range. I think starting around 500, 600 and up, you know, if you get the smaller homes. One other cool thing about East Mark is actually other sections. We've got the primary East Mark area, but we also have a gated community called Estates at East Mark. And then we also have an active adult community called Encore at East Mark, which is just to the south of here where grandpa and grandma can typically live. The rest of the family can live over here, hang out as much as they want, but still have their own communities and neighborhoods in that tight knit way that a lot of people are looking for. So super cool here. We actually have a catch and release pond. No license required, just catch, throw them back, release. I think they have largemouth bass. I have to check the website to know the exact fish they have in here, but super fun amenity here at Eastmark. Ascendus rivals some of the nicest neighborhoods in all of Scottsdale as far as golf course, mountain view communities are concerned. I would consider this one of the most underrated golf course communities in the entire Phoenix Valley. Let's go check it out, see what's so special about it and why so many people love to call this place home. So one of my favorite things about the Los Sendis neighborhood is while it is a gated community on a golf course, what's different about it is that there's actually like 50 different gated communities. And why that's important is somebody who's looking for a gated neighborhood, a lot of the bigger ones you know, it's more of an illusion than maybe real security because if you've got a thousand houses behind a gate, literally everybody has that gate code. Whereas here in Los Sendas, you've got the main roads that traverse through the neighborhood and then you've got over 50 different enclaves, as they're called, which have their own separate gates. So you only have a small handful number of homes behind each gate, which makes it a really ideal situation for actually maintaining some level of gated security, which is unusual, but really important and a big distinction that this neighborhood 
neighborhood makes compared to other ones that are similar to it. So as far as the parks are concerned here in Los Cenas, you're gonna find just top of the line, well-maintained, beautiful places to play. You got pickleball, you got tennis, you got a splash pad, you've got the swimming pools, the spa, you've got huge baseball fields, soccer fields, all of it is exclusive to members and residents of the Los Cenas HOA. So right now all these kids just showed up and they all wanna know, are you a YouTuber? I, I really can't make this stuff up. This is hilarious. All right, so here we are at Boulder Mountain Park here in the Los Cenas neighborhood. This is probably, I have to get the exact size, but it's one of the two largest parks and community amenities in Los Cenas. Obviously the other park, which is the main clubhouse, and you got the large swimming pools also are on the other side of the community. What's really great about this is that it's super easy to get to, huge amounts of parking, and all the parking is literally right here where everything needs to be. All right, so that's our tour of Mesa. Now to keep in mind, Mesa is massive. We touched on a few of the highlights and key points that you know you're gonna want to know about but the reality is to find a place that's ideal for you in an area that you know you're gonna want to be in you're gonna want to pick up the phone and give us a call shoot us an email send that text message we'll be able to know exactly the right places to point you based on where you work what you like to do where you want to be everything that's important to you and we'll help you navigate the massive area which is Mesa Arizona give us a call shoot us an email send that text message days nights weekends we've got your back we're moving here to Mesa and the greater Phoenix area and until the next video guys catch you on the next one.